In this video, we're going through the steps to start up the altar rig, which is a new creation that just hit the workshop. There's been some uncertainty, some questions, some comments, and I'd like to address them in this brief video and explain the process. So let's get going. Now this is a fresh spawn of the altar rig. You have to have the DLC. You have to have this map at your disposal and you go to one of the well sites that is marked on the map like this oil deposit so this is where you could spawn one of these rigs so i've i've just spawned this i haven't even walked into it you see the door is closed and i'll explain the different steps to get it going so if you walk into the controller building you'll see here we have a depth of zero and a drill drill depth and well depth of zero First things first, we gotta put a rod into there. You'll wanna move the swivel up to clear the rod connection, otherwise it'll clash and go all nuts. So we move that up. That's step number one. Step number two, turn on our rod positioning, bring this forward, enable the clamp, and you wanna manually Put it in there was a comment that said that we can have uh if if we move the wall rod wall forward it'll automatically clamp it won't because we have um the rods all next to one another it would only clamp if we had them separate a little bit anyway this is in we have our rod we can move it into position now now this whole thing can move up a little so you see that and then we start moving this down now we feed it down through there and it's going now we he we heard a click and we can't move it any further that means it's attached itself to the wellhead now that it's attached to the wellhead we can release this one and send this back we don't need it here anymore what we need is a second one so we position this the second one, move the wall out, turn on the clamping system, go down here and put this one in there. Okay, now we have to consider that the height of that end of the rod is much higher than the end of that rod. So we'll have to move this system up so that end clears that end. We're approximately there, so now we can bring the wellhead into the position, or bring this device into the wellhead position. Now we'll move it down just a slight little bit, and a little bit more. So that could be enough to get our clamp working. So with that, we'll move, for actually first, I want to attach the rotary table. That means that thing down there is now holding it, holding the rod in place. We could move this up until it's in position over those two parts, which is right now. Turn this on and you see that they're aligned. Boom, now they're all one. So now we have 20 meters of rod that is available for us to start drilling. Now, the next step we wanna do is take this clamp off and return this to the rod wall. We, we can't leave this clamp active and let it want it, let it press it to return to the rod wall. It'll glitch out because it's still attached. But now we're good. What I always want to do is move this thing down here like that because then it gives our uh, drill that much more space to go. Now that's still attached. And now what we do is we send this thing down. So once it's down, it stops here. We attach it. So now the swivel's clamp. We turn on our slurry, turn on our water, turn on our pump jack if we want. We don't really need to right now, but we turn this on. And you hear it start to dig, and you see this number start to increase. So at 0.75 is our max throttle here. I've had an issue where if I put it higher than that, all the displays start to glitch out. This starts to jump like crazy, and nothing happens, so uh, it doesn't dig. So I found that this is the sweet spot for the RPS. And we see that it's drilling. Now the downward pressure is needed, otherwise it won't dig. So 
what we have now is currently an operational system, meaning we've already reached one meter in depth. And if we do run up there and check on the swivel jack or the pump jack, we'll get that we're, pro we're we will find out that we are indeed uh, having slurry filter through. So all our slurries are working. Our slurry filters. This is moving. And the systems are operational. So there we are. We're almost at two meters. So while it's not a fast process, it, it can't be. Um, now we watch our water level. It's dropping slowly. So you you'll, you would need to fill it up if you're digging a crazy amount. But I was able to get to 100 meters in depth without refilling the water level. The slurry level doesn't change. It's the water that's feeding it. Now technically this one doesn't have to be clamped. That doesn't really matter at this point. The only clamps that do matter is the uh, swivel and the rotary table and that's it so we're, we're drilling we're going and once we hit like once you get down to 80 meters i suggest turning on your pump jack mechanism but right now it's useless it doesn't really do anything but once we do get to that point you turn that on and uh the buzzer will start once you've reached the reservoir and then the next step is all done from here where you can have the distillation process and all that stuff set moving into the different systems. But for now, that's it folks. That's all you need to get the thing going. And you repeat the steps with this station when you want to add more pipes. Meaning you disconnect the swivel, move up the swivel, like push it up. And once it's pushed up, you uh, add another rod, clamp it using this, and keep going. So. Good luck, enjoy, hopefully this video helped. I wanted to keep it under five minutes, but here we are, seven minutes, not a big deal. Um, just quick facts and quick informative. So thank you for watching, enjoy the creation. Thank you guys for upvoting the creation. It means a lot to me because I did spend a lot of time and hours into this, or hours slash time into this. So I really do appreciate the comments, the, the support and all that good stuff. So thank you and happy Stormworksing.